o'clock. It is absolutely wonderful to see you all here on this very day, 20 years ago, that ICC came about. And we have many of you here that are there and are with us today to celebrate our 20th, going into our 21st. So for me, this is just uh, fantastic uh, to see uh, all of you make the time uh, to be with us to celebrate this uh, amazing uh, milestone for ICC. Those early beginnings when things were not at all too straightforward, some challenges along the way, but here we are, 20 years, and we've grown. And we've grown in such a way that we are engaging community all over the Bay Area. <clears throat> we have indeed come a long way. Thanks to the support of the founding trustees, Gudwani family, Reiki family, Bipu Mithal, Kumar Manavali, Ram Shriram, Dalat and Kamil Hassan, and the Bakshi family. These are our trustees that really saw a vision to really uh, put together something like what we have here at ICC. Aside from their commitment, aside from their commitment Bye. to really get this started, Bye. to provide some level of funding, they also rewarded a significant amount of time in ensuring that their vision and their guidance was supported by staff members to pull it all together. You know, the Godwanis, Hassans, Joshis, the Bakshi families came on board almost full time to really ensure that all of our activities were engaging the community in a meaningful way. So we really thank them for their dedication and support in, the, in those early times. They were keeping ICC true to the mission of being non-religious and non-political. And that stands true today, which keeps us in a very unique position compared to all other community-based organizations. We remain non-religious and non-political, but we do celebrate all religions here at ICC. We've all experienced the impact of the pandemic that we saw over the past few years, which really for ICC was really the worst time. And for me personally, was very, very challenging. Not only we had to shut down everything we do, like events like these, uh, all on-site activities at all of our locations had to be closed down. But very quickly we pivoted and delivered virtual programs. Many of you here learned the process of going online and engaging with the community. And that was fantastic to see that we were able to deploy technology and continue to keep our community safe and engage and enjoy many of the programs that we do here at ICC. Thanks to the support of our board and major donors and the community at large, we survived. We survived those two years and we are here back again into full force celebrating a lot of the activities that we host here. We are engaging our community across five locations now. That also happened during the pandemic. Tri Valley, which is San Ramon, Danville, Pleasanton. West Valley, which is Cupertino. Mid Peninsula, Palo Alto. And two locations here in Belpitas. Our main center here and our table tennis center just a mile down the road. Our activities are broad and, and, and uh, in scope, reaching a diverse segment of our Bay Area community. And aside from our popular programs that many of you participate in, our senior programs, Bollywood dance classes, summer camps, pre and after school that we host here in Barbados, youth sava, banquet events, Sabathon, of course, major event in the park, Eid and Diwali celebrations that we do. We have recently launched a very significant program for ICC, Robotics for Youth. You see these lights hanging, they're specially made for our national championship. We'll have a thousand kids here next week over four days, and that has really taken ICC to another level in engaging the youth in STEM. And it's just incredible. Any of you who are around and are able to visit 
anytime between Friday and Monday next week. You're welcome to come and visit and see what all these kids are doing, competing in this uh, amazing uh, gamified robotics uh, for middle and high school. And we have about 100 volunteers to thank uh, them for bringing this program to ICC. And we're taking it to greater heights. We actually launched you know, uh, the same program in Tri Valley and in Cupertino, and we hope to take it to Palo Alto too. Over a thousand kids you know, engaged in this program. So do come and see. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic program that we have here at ICC. Overall, I'm pleased to report that ICC, with the support of our board, our dedicated staff, and our well wishers, we are well placed to serve the community for decades ahead. So thank you all for being with us. Let me now take this opportunity to introduce my friend, Bala Joshi, who really initiated this. Initially it was like, let's get 20, 30 people together and look at this. You know, as soon as the word goes out, everybody wants to see it. Bala has been a significant donor, a past board member, founding board member, served on the ICC board for 10 years, Two as president of the board, led health and wellness programs, helped with Sevathon, led community partner programs, and served on the executive committee as well as board nomination committee, and offered free financial investment classes here at ICC. I think many of you attended. So with that, Bala, please come on board. Let's give him a great round Thank you, Raj, and thank you for your great leadership here at ICC. <laughs> it is a, a joy from the bottom of my heart to be able to celebrate our ICC's 20th birthday with all of you friends who are near and dear to my heart over the years. It's a, I'm actually blessed to have you know, 170 of you friends here today, and we'll be singing ICC Happy Birthday. What a great, uh, great, uh, memorable uh, uh, occasion. Um, with us here are some of the founding team members. We are really privileged to have them. To start with, uh, first and foremost, to representing the Godwani family, Anil, Gautam, Gopiji, and Kemuji. We have Kemuji here. Please give a big, big hand. Thank you very much. We will have him say a few words later. There is an opportunity. Just right now, I'll just introduce people. Yeah. And next up, we have you know uh, Hassan family. Talat Hassan is here. She has been right from the beginning uh, a founding team for ICC. Has served on the board of trustees for many, many years for the last two decades. And a major donor, big fundraiser for ICC. Talat, please uh, stand up if you don't mind. <laughs> Sitting next to Talat is Sheena Vaidyanathan. She wrote the first big check to ICC. I still remember, you know, way, way back in the uh, end of 2002, she committed. And, and she went on with her family. She went on to run the arts program here. So many different activities. It was very inspiring in the very early days. So, Sheena, can you please stand up? Thank you. And we have, uh, we have, I saw Kanwal walk in. Kanwal is, uh, is also from the founding team. Uh, Kanwal's family have been major donors, served as board of trustees here for many years and continue to serve us and has been a great inspiration and uh, an advisory role for ICC as well. Kanwal, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> BV Jagadish uh, should be sure. Oh, there he is, okay. Um, okay, he just walked in, BV and Anu Jagadish. They have been major donors for us, and uh, and thank you very much, uh, BB, for coming here today. I will have him say some. And Anu is over here. You know, Anu has helped us a lot with running Sevatown and so forth. The another early, um, uh, you know, early member of our board and a great inspiration to us. A lot of advisory role as well is Kailash Joshi. Many of you know Kailash Joshi from the days of uh, founding Thai. And uh, he's been a great supporter and uh, inspiration for us as well. D. 
Did I miss any of the uh, board of trustees, uh, past or present, who are here? I don't see anybody else here. Um, there are several board of directors here. I see Nikki just walk in. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. And then, uh, if there are any other board of directors here that I did not mention, please stand up wherever you are. Current or past? Okay, there you go, Rajan. Uh, anyone else? Uh, past or present board of directors? Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, we have, in addition to that, we have some of the, you know, the first, when we opened ICC in 2003, February 8, there were five initial staff. Vishnu Sharma, uh, Umayma Bakar, Atul Tikchandani, Mangala Kumar, and Asita Anand. And we are lucky to have two of them here, Vishnu Sharma and Asita. Can you please stand up? And Vishnu is here. Okay. Very nice. And uh, I will introduce, there are several members in the early days, like for example, uh, you know, you see Ravi Chopra, you see uh, Ramesh Mathur, uh, we see uh, Dinesh Bajaj, I don't know if Dinesh Bajaj is here today, and then uh, uh, we have Sushma Chopra, Jaya Bain. So, you know, so we have many of, uh, many people have been with us from the very early on. And uh, so it is, uh, it is a very, uh, you know, sorry if I did not mention anybody's name. You know, you're all near and dear to us. Very important uh, that you all came here. With that, we'll get started. Rajurit is here already? Is he here? Okay, so he's going to come. He's going to come. Okay. Um, in terms of the program today, can you see the, it says today's program, can you see that? Okay. I will give you, you know, bird's eye view of the, of the uh, 20 years in terms of activities. It is split as ICC 1.0, what was happening in the old center, and then what is happening in the new center. And then we'll have some message from the donors and trustees and uh, BOD, and we'll have a slideshow of memories, and then we'll do cake cutting, and then there is sponsored lunch. So if you remember, 2003, uh, first of all, I'm, I, before this begins, I should say one or two lines about uh, how I got started with ICC. It was, I, I still, the memory is still very green in my mind. It was July of 2001 that Adil and Gautam came to me and they said, Bala, we need your leadership, financial support, and, and, uh, and uh, uh, be part of the founding board team to help build an India Community Center. I gladly agreed. I said we definitely need this. And, and, and that is my involvement with ICC. That's how we started. So it's 22 years from me. And we got our family involved. Okay, Jayashree, my wife, as you know, she, she was involved in starting the medical clinic uh, and continued here with the, with the medical, you know, the free as a volunteer doctor. And our children were engaged with the uh, uh, summer camps and uh, Khan Academy, two years we ran the program for the children. So uh, I'm giving an example that all of us members that I talked about, several of the families, it became a family commitment for us. Okay, that is why ICC is what it is today. I must tell you that each and every one of you had a big contribution to ICC to make ICC what it is today. So I must tell you, I, I, you know, I must tell you a big thanks and congratulations up front. <laughs> So 2003, ICC opens on February 8th. The memory is still young in our, in our mind. Um, so we had the five staff, as I told you. We started with health and wellness. That was yoga and meditation, Bollywood aerobics, senior programs, free medical clinic. Table tennis, you remember on that, that old building over there, in that garage area, there were three table tennis uh, tables. And it was used also for karaoke on Friday, if you remember. Right? We used to have like several hundred people show up. Uh, you know, for karaoke. Youth Sava started, state days, summer camps, and there was a library. When you walked in, as soon as you entered on the left side, there was karaoke, as well, there was a library room. The boardroom back then used to be called Ashoka, if you remember. And you, I don't know if you, you remember that? Okay, good. Uh, Friday evening karaoke and annual banquet. We started annual banquet, I think, 2004. Right, Talat? I think it was 2004. Okay, so these are these are great sweet memories of the of the uh, ICC 1.0. That was the first Bollywood dance. Actually, Talat is the one who named it as Jollywood, if I remember, right? Yeah, there you go. 
And then, so then, I, then we went on an ambitious plan, thanks to the guarantors, many of many guarantors are here. Um, we took an ambitious plan to uh, start this building. So now we expanded to a lot of programs. You see so many different programs here. The, some of the programs I did not mention in the prior slide are Farmers Market, Community Partner Program, CWC, Robotics, which started recently, uh, last couple of years. We started celebrating Diwali, Eid and other festivals. We have a banquet hall now, summer picnics, Dandia, Karpa, Holi, Forum at ICC, which is, you know, the distinguished speakers coming in, talking here, Toastmasters, nutrition program, very well known nutrition program. By the way, big award to the nutrition program as well for what ICC does here, which is wonderful. <laughs> Legal and tax is preschool and after school for toddlers. Um, you know, senior program expanded to many other areas. Table tennis you know, expanded to a lot, a lot of Olympic champions coming out of here, and uh, and so forth. So Surumala Gandhi camp, Abai, Abai is here. Okay, he has been running Gandhi camp for years for ICC. Just amazing, amazing amount of great work. And uh, I, you know, Bollywood with uh, Amit and Hiran. With that, let me start with. Um, Birthday messages. First with the Godwani family. So this is, you may be seeing this picture. This is our board in 2003, and you see the board in 2006. And on the right side, you see on your right side you see the uh, guarantors, you know, helping open this building in 2007. That's the groundbreaking uh, ceremony there. And then uh, then you see also a picture of the Godwani families with Talat and Raj. Uh, celebrating uh, ICC birthday in 2017, but let me play a message from uh, from uh, Gautam, who sent a message uh, for uh, for ICC's birthday. Uh, let me see if I can open it up here. As a member of the founding team. I want to wish everyone a happy 20th anniversary of ICC. I remember when we started, I was thinking that if we just got past the first few years, we'd have a really bright future ahead. And here we are 20 years in. When we got to our 10 year anniversary, I remember thinking that ICC has gotten stronger every single year. It's incredible to think that 20 years in, that is still the case. I especially want to thank the staff the directors, the donors, and the members that have made ICC possible. Wishing you all a very happy 20th anniversary and looking forward to the next 20 years ahead. Um, Anil, I met him uh, a couple of times this week. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it today. But he, from the bottom of his heart, he communicated best wishes. First of all, he said congratulations and wishing a great future to ICC. He wanted to communicate that to you on behalf of Anil and Jyoti. <laughs> and we will have Kemoji talk a little bit later when we, when we cut the cake. Next up, I would like to call Talat. Talat, please come over. Or, uh, Talanti has been a great friend of us. Uh, as I said earlier, ICC would not have been what it is today without Talanti's generosity in all dimensions. Is this working? Yes. Well, um, thank you so much, Bala. Really, thank you for, from the bottom of my heart for putting this together. I must say, I had not thought of doing something like this, but he did. So. Um, and really thank all of you for being here to represent the larger ICC community um, for this great milestone. I remember uh, Gotham and Anil invited me for lunch, invited Kamal and me for lunch, um, late 2001, I think it was, and uh, said, you know, we have a business plan. And we thought they're talking about another company that they wanted us to invest in. And they said, but before you uh, open the, it was a Ford binder. Before you open it, it's not a business plan for a company. It's a business plan for a community center. And uh, <laughs> we were really surprised, you know, these young guys who were entrepreneurs talking about community centers. 
But as they walked us through this plan, we were blown away <coughs> with their dedication and passion towards bringing our community together and serving our community. And so right there and then, at that same lunch, we said, we're in. And they said, well, we're each putting in a sum of money. Will you match it? And we said, yes. And they said, by the way, there's another couple, Sheena and Vijay Vedyanathan, that have also committed. So basically, it was the four families that said, OK, we'll put the seed money in. And like any entrepreneurial venture, let's see how it goes. Um, they did a lot of work. They did focus groups. They did a lot of analysis. But at the end of the day, as those of you that have been involved with startups know, none of that really <laughs> matters. Because when you're actually on the ground and you start doing the work, you realize that reality is very different from all your research. So we started in the building next door, rented facility. Uh, we started with an open house. I don't know if any of you remember, but we had about 1,500, 2,000 people come to that open house. And right away, we knew that we had something worth building. And so uh, it was the passion of the initial don donors, the staff, the community members at large, hundreds of volunteers. Uh, something like a community center doesn't happen with a handful of people. It really happens with the entire community. And our next 20 years, I'm, I'm hopeful we'll be here for at least 100 years more. Um, but our next 20 years, <laughs> I hope we will not only expand geographically, but we'll also expand to be even more inclusive, to bring members of the non-Indian community to into ICC, to work with us, dance with us, and, uh, celebrate with us, study with us, learn with us, uh, and share our culture with us. Um, and I hope that we will have even more members of our own community, the younger group, step up and take over the leadership uh, of this organization and take it to greater heights. Um, you know, most of us who've been here 20 years, we're uh, getting on, um, and of course, I'm committed to be here as long as everyone wants me to still be here, but um, we really need the next generation to step up and take over this leadership. So with that, I don't want to say anything more. I think Bala's got a great program plan, but I wish you all the best, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Next up, I would like to call upon Sheena to say a few words. You can either come here or you can say that, you know, right where you are. It's your choice. Might be faster to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for uh, asking me to speak, and it's wonderful to see this room full again. And, and so many memories of so many happy events that have happened here. So, I think for me, um, the reason I think we are here today is the passion and the time that everybody put in in the beginning. Uh, in my case, my passion was art as well as kids' photographs. My kids were young at that time, and they definitely benefited. In fact, they didn't have a choice. For every event I did, they were the first two people who I didn't sign up. So, <laughs> so I still remember running the first art contest here, and my kids were like, Mom, why do we have to go? Like, we need people. So they were there. And uh, we did art contests, and I remember spending lots of time with summer camps. And eventually, my daughter grew up and was a volunteer at the same summer camp. And we did uh, the first mommy and me group, and we had to run around finding people who had babies who could, who could invite. And I just spoke to one of my friends, and she said, you remember, I came for a mommy and me you know, program, and that kid is in the second year of college right now. So. You know, time has gone by. So all these programs, I think what for me is wonderful is to think that not just my children, but so many kids learned about Indian culture and the fact that they could come here and be part of some camp where they can have, you know, alu paratha as their meal and not mac and cheese, right? And so it was part of belonging. And I think it was so important for our children 
And I think uh, I'm so glad that we were able to do it. And I feel like there are so many more children that will benefit from it. And I look forward to all of them. And uh, just thank you for Thank you very much, Sheila. Please give a big hand to Sheila. Next up, I would like to give it to Kanwal to say a few words. You can just uh, say it. Yeah, you should have warned me that I would have come to play. Kanwal, you do very well in front of So, <laughs> so uh, I have been in this valley since 71. Yes. And uh, I remember, yeah, back then, maybe there were 100 of us in the valley. And besides Indian, yeah, you cross the street and say, hey, 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 how are you here, right? And uh, yeah, they now we, yeah, maybe we are close to yeah, hundreds of thousands of people in here, right? You know, I, yeah, I was born at, yeah, at the time of independence in 1945, yeah, refugee family from Pakistan and India. And I have, I grew up in the 50s, you know, we have to grow up in the Paris. I have always thought of India as a very global experiment. Very global experiment. You have a country that lost, that was chose to be a democracy with full franchise for everybody. And you know, and suffered through, you know, you only have a you know, full franchise in that way poor people, you have five country children resources that have their needs, their prejudice, and we went through all that. And we are here now emerging as the fifth largest economy. And I think we'll sleep walk into the third largest economy in another few years. The children value Indians yeah, made a big difference. Yeah, we, yeah, we came here, our generation came here, became engineers and, and became architects. Which was something different, something new. Yeah, Indians were not seen as a group. India was still socialist. And uh, starting in the yeah, late 70s, early 80s, you know, there was this desire. You know, I was born in five years, you know, Tarat was born in five years, and we have a you few know, other people. We set the tone that we can come to Silicon Valley and compete at the best of the best in the world at the top of the top. That message was very heavy message, very, very heavy message for Indians. Yeah, and, uh, so, it, it just took me up. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that uh, the partnership of time was a yeah, yeah, phenomenal message to have. You know, the, the notion of creation, entrepreneurship, on a mass scale, we had it, and we, yeah, we, we, we did get to this large one. But we took the tie into India in 1998. And we have a seminar in Delhi, and it was titled Entrepreneurship and Gratification in Silicon Valley South. That was the first time anybody ever talked about the entrepreneurship in India. And you are now, you are 25 years later, you, know, you can see what's happening in India. India is the third largest entrepreneurship in the world. And you know, you know, you know, you know, it's transforming India. The formation of ICC, you know, and you know, one more group here now, the Indian American you know, Radio Action Committee, IPAC, you know, for seeing as the two other legs of the school, you know, entrepreneurship, recreation, cultural, ICC, and I got a lot of review engagement, you know, in the electric process. You know, ICC survived, IPAC will survive because, you know, it's very hard to unite people. On the politics, very, very hard to unite you know, yeah, people. Yeah, we are politics, you know, yeah. in addition to everything else. Yeah, I was very, very proud and very, very happy to be proud of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I wasn't as active yeah, at ICC yeah, personally, but, but I was at the very connected nationally. Yeah, yeah, I was one of the eight people who did yeah, that. We had a $16 million loan. And, uh, and I, you know, if I did the loan, I was a lot of people, I was a lot of people, but I,
we reached 100 million. Uh, I, I want to see this global next five years. Yeah. You know, no country we have ever done. Ones who are 
employees, but I'm talking about the volunteer leaders. I think it's very important that you start bringing new generation, new blood into the organization. That's the only way organization can continue to thrive, organization can bring new ideas and new way of thinking. So it's important that over the next 10 to 20 years, we figure out how to do this smooth transition to the next generation. And my dream is we should really involve the next generation of Indians who are born and brought up here to be those leaders in the organization. And my, I know my wife, she's been very intimately involved with Sevatan, which is one of the signature events. I want her to say a few things about that.
getting funded by the Motwari Jarila Foundation for Fellowship Prizes, and we have a aim of creating a network of 1,000 quality counselors, 108 captains in the next couple of years, and we are 30 percent there already. Hindu CI Bhagavad Gita is an institution. Anybody interested, please look it up and uh, call me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And further, uh, Raju will be. Oh, there, there they are. To please stand up, Raju has been a major donor, been like a great. Uh, there was someone on the board as such, you know, and also as a leadership board, like you see, in your family, like the Seva Town. So, uh, Raju, would you like to. Also, I heard Tanuja also came in. Tanuja Bahar has been executive director for ICC. So, Tanuja, please stand up as well. I was introducing uh, people earlier. Thank you very much. So, Raj, would you like to say a couple of lines? Uh, sure. Uh, thank you, Bala. Yeah. So, I got involved, uh, when I got involved in ICC first time, it was already an eight or uh, maybe a nine year old organization. So, thanks to all of the folks who spoke ahead of me, there was a wonderful foundation already built here. And uh, many of them, of course, are an inspiration for me with uh, my own journey as an entrepreneur, then in philanthropy, uh, and people like Kanwal and uh, Bibi and uh, others. Uh, so, uh, you know, when I think about my time at ICC, the two programs that, that stand out are the preschool, uh, when I used to walk there every Friday, uh, till about uh, COVID actually, uh, right from inception. And of course, Sevathon. Uh, and I think ICC is a very unique organization. Uh, that it's about the only organization that can build a, that can bring the community together the way we have done through Sevatown. And uh, you know, I had the uh, privilege of working with BD first, uh, and then with Anu, uh, you know, in Sevatown. And uh, so when I sort of uh, look back, uh, uh, perhaps much like uh, many others, if not everyone out here, I think I got a lot more out of ICC than anything that I would have done here. Uh, many of the people I met for the first time right here in the halls of ICC and uh, you know, others where my friendships kind of strengthened. Uh, I mean, I have to think of Tanuja, uh, Bibi, Anu, and uh, you know, Talat, and you, Bala, Murli, Shiral, and you can tell the list. This one, everybody, I actually met here or became you know, much stronger friends. Uh, so, you know, uh, once again, uh, while I'm not actually involved with ICC as much, I still love this organization and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this project. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for being here.